oh. <laughs> that's how that's how we film videos. We're doing everything at least three times. <laughs> Every single sentence that I say. I probably already said before. <laughs> you guys, good morning. I think it is Wednesday, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I did so much painting, so much painting. <sighs> and right now it is very blue in here. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. But I'm also so thankful that I decided on exposing this brick wall because I need this wall. Can you imagine all of this being dark blue too? It just would have been too much. Over there on that side of the kitchen that I'm going to show you in a bit. It is very blue and I think it is very beautiful but I also think that I need to break it up and I want to do that by hanging some things on the wall. I have some very creative options that I'm very excited about. But first I need to do something else. I need to do a little sewing project and I need to do this now because right now I still have energy. It is still early. I am not the biggest fan of sewing anything. <laughs> if I want to do this, I need to do it early in the morning. I want to do something over here with curtains. And also I want to have a little something something in front of my kitchen door. First I was planning to do something with lace, but then I remembered that I still have this. This is quite a big embroidered tablecloth. I don't have enough to go all the way from the top, so I'm just going to see if I can make it from this point on downwards. And then I am hopeful that I'm going to have enough to make a little half curtain out of this same fabric for my kitchen door. What I need to do is I need to attach the little system that I'm going to hang this curtain from to my window. And then I can hang it over this little system to see how much fabric I need and how much I am going to have left over. After my curtain project I am going to do my little art project and after that more painting. This is a very old fashioned system for hanging curtains. <laughs> my mother would use to use this when I was little. So it has childhood sentiment. I also want to hang my fish I lost my measuring tape again. <laughs> it's so annoying and now I don't know how to measure all of this. This is driving me insane. Really. The amount of time that I'm losing just with looking for my measuring tape. <laughs> it's so much time. So much time. I could build an entire house in that time. Maybe I need to buy myself a whole bunch of these things. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> going to put one in every single room in the house because I am dumb, dumb. they going to last being only one euro a piece I don't know I don't care I love it glasses pencil a measuring device in my last video I asked you guys the question should I paint this window frame in the same dark blue color as the wall or should I paint it white because it does need paint uh, it's looking pretty rough. Most of you guys said keep it white and I agree. You want to pull it nice and tight. I'm just going to put a little line on it. That's where I'm going to cut it. I just bought this at a flea market a couple of days ago. The guy told me it was great. <laughs> oh, does it work? 
it's such a shame. <laughs> it looks so cute. This is a specialized tool for something. I have no idea what. This is also really not doing anything. Hmm. Hmm. best friend right now <laughs> look at my nails it's disgusting it's just paint but it looks really nasty i think i need to cut it right here how much do we have left we also need a little bit of a seam allowance not a whole lot but a little bit But this is not the biggest piece that I have left over, but I think it is just about enough. That's so nice. For the window I want to have two curtains, so now I have to cut this in half. I can't even remember how much I paid for this. Not a lot. 150 maybe euros. The lamp that I have over here was only 3 euros. And all of the art, I think, all together was around four or five euros, including the frames. And that's the fun thing about secondhand shopping. You can buy so much for not a whole lot of money. It's a really nice way of creating beautiful things on a very small budget. something that looks vintage you also have to be okay with things not being completely straight <laughs> well I do think it is cute maybe I just need to wash it I haven't done that yet and now we are going to take the grandma vibe in this kitchen onto a whole new level <laughs> I have to go back to the store to buy myself another set of this curtain hanging stuff. So I moved my hooks a little bit outwards and then the little curtain system that I had was not long enough anymore. I also decided to buy myself one of these because I just need the proper tools and I was missing this terribly. Not only today, but for months now. I've been missing this. I had one, I lost it, I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure that one of my kids took it because it is definitely not in this house. <laughs> what else did I buy? 
an actual fabric scissor. It's gold. Am I going to use it for all kinds of other things? <laughs> Probably. Am I going to ruin it? Probably. But right now I'm still living in the illusion of <laughs> just using it for fabrics. Okay, now let's see how well this thing is going to work. pizza <laughs> I'm kind of hungry right now actually oh I really think that this looks a lot better you know sometimes when curtains have a little bit of an awkward way of falling down it really helps to wash it and then to hang it when it is still wet and then you just let it dry maybe I will do that next week art projects the plan is to put this into a frame. It is going to be a bit of a squeeze because it is very thick, but I think I can fit it in. I hope I can fit it in. So that's art project number one. I think this is going to look very beautiful on my blue wall. And then another little piece of fabric that I'm also going to put into a frame is this. A couple of days ago, I found a whole bunch of these little pieces of plate material outside. And I decided to bring it home because I thought probably I'm going to have a use for it. And here we are. I also found out that this little tool is actually really heavy to use for the removal of staples. So now the plan is to glue this on top of the piece of hardboard using decoupage glue. so weird I totally forgot to do this with a wall paint this is not a wall paint this is the oh the paint for wood let's just remove this shall we ah, grandma's making a very stupid stick so we did all kinds of things together we went to the supermarket, we also went to the thrift store, did not buy anything. What else did we do? Oh, we did a little bath, he's all nice and clean. Right now he's completely knocked out. He needs to eat in about 10 minutes, but I think he's fine for now. And I am packing, I am packing all of my things because tonight I am going to the farmhouse for at least a couple of days. I also need to bring some projects that I want to finish because I did not do a whole lot in the last three days. I was planning to do more painting, but this little pumpkin over here is just more important. He is only going to be little for a very short time. He is 
one month old tomorrow, are you waking up? Do you want to turn your head to the other side? Um, wall paint. I decided to hang the fish over there together with the little Persian rug and I decided to hang this little frame over here. This is a napkin that I bought in a second hand store and I really love it. I really like this color over here because it is kind of the same color that I also have in the bricks. So yeah, I'm happy that I did at least something. <laughs> Today, the mailman just arrived with a whole bunch of things. This is not all of it. Oh no. The last one is a big one. Ow. Ay. Oh. E. <laughs> I just unpacked this whole bunch of tiny little miniature groceries <laughs> that I bought for him. There's lots of cheese, so it's very fitting for the Netherlands. More cheese. I am going to enjoy this little pumpkin just for a little bit longer. <sighs> it's so nice to have him here. And with here, I mean here. It's lovely. I am enjoying all of this so much. <sighs> pure bliss, pure love, pure happiness. So thank you, thank you again for watching. I really hope to see you very, very soon. Bye.